Gallimimus, a name that sparks images of speed, agility, and intelligence. One of the most well-known dinosaurs of the late Cretaceous, this dinosaur captured the imagination of many after its iconic appearance in Jurassic Park. But what was Gallimimus really like? How did it live? And what set it apart from other dinosaurs of its time? In this video, we'll take an in-depth look at this fascinating dinosaur from its discovery to its life history. Gallimimus was first discovered in 1963 during an expedition to the Nimagat Basin in Mongolia, a region famous for its well-preserved dinosaur fossils. The remains were described by Polish paleontologist in 1972 who named it Gallimimus bulletus, meaning chicken mimic, due to the bird-like features of its skeleton. The species name Bulletus refers to the bulb-like capsule in its skull, the unique feature among ornithomimids. The fossils unearthed in Mongolia were exceptionally well preserved, offering paleontologists crucial insights into the anatomy and behavior of this swift omnivore. Gallimimus was a medium-sized theropod dinosaur, belonging to the group known as ornithomimids, or bird mimics. Unlike most theropods, Gallimimus was not a predator, but instead relied on speed and agility to survive. It had long, slender legs built for running, much like the modern-day ostrich. Its small head housed a toothless beak, and its eyes were positioned on the side of its head, suggesting it had a wide angle of vision. Measuring about 6 meters in length and weighed around 450 kilograms, Gallimimus had a light, hollow bone structure, allowing it to run at impressive speeds. Its long arms and three-fingered hands may have been useful for foraging or manipulating objects. Gallimimus evolved during the late Cretaceous, roughly 70 million years ago. It was part of the broader Ornithomimidae family, a group that began to diversify from other theropods earlier in the Cretaceous. While many theropods relied on their carnivorous diets, Ornithomimids developed a more omnivorous lifestyle specializing in speed rather than brute force. These adaptations allowed Gallimimus and its relatives to occupy a unique ecological niche, grazing on low vegetation, seeds, and perhaps even scavenging on small insects or eggs. While not the largest dinosaur of its time, Gallimimus was still an impressive animal. It could grow up to 20 feet in length with a weight of around 1,000 pounds. Its long tail provided balance during its high-speed runs, and its lightweight frame allowed it to move quickly and efficiently. Despite its size, Gallimimus was built for speed rather than strength. It's estimated it could run up to 50 to 60 kilometers per hour, making it one of the fastest dinosaurs known to science. Gallimimus was likely a social animal, living in herds to protect itself from predators like Toposaurus, which roamed the same region. Her behavior would have given it safety in numbers, and its speed allows it to quickly escape danger. Its beak and long arms suggest a diet of plant matter, though it may have supplemented its diet with small animals or insects, making it an opportunistic feeder. The absence of teeth in Gallimimus points to a diet that didn't rely on chewing, but instead involves swallowing food whole, possibly aided by gastroliths, stones that would help grind food in the stomach much like modern birds. Gallimimus may have been one of the swiftest dinosaurs of the late Cretaceous, but its real story lies with its unique adaptations that helped it thrive in a changing world. From its bird-like characteristics to its speedy lifestyle, Gallimimus remains a fascinating subject for paleontologists and dinosaur enthusiasts alike. Though it may never have been the most fearsome dinosaurs, Gallimimus's ability and intelligence ensured its place in the ancient ecosystem of Mongolia. So the next time you think of dinosaurs, remember, not all were giant predators. Some, like Gallimimus, found success in speed and strategy. If you enjoyed this in-depth look at Gallimimus, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let me know in the comments which dinosaur you'd like to learn about next. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.